Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. After a little over a year and five months, 175 uploads, this has got to be my favorite video I've ever done. I am taking you guys way, way back to when my house was being built, just so you guys can get before pictures, true before pictures of what my island slash kitchen looked like. Um, and I did a island update that I'm ecstatic to share with you guys today. I hope you guys really enjoy this. So if you love these type of videos, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, show me some love. And also if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of the gang. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and basically get into the renovation, the sweat, tears, and lots of love that I put into this project, and I'm beyond excited with the way that it turned out. So I really, truly hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and start with telling you how I did this. All right, guys, once I got home with a leveler and my boards, I was able to go ahead and decide how I wanted them to line up, where I wanted them to start and finish. So all you do is take all your edgings and your corners off, as you see here, and with a pencil and a leveler, draw a line to keep you very, very straight. All right, guys, have I mentioned that this is my first big major project because it is. <laughs> I bought this jigsaw and even though it is awesome and you will need it so that you can do your special cuts for around outlets and whatnot, you're going to need more tools and you're going to see this uh, moving forward here. Um, but yeah, I'm a girl with tools now and this is a 12 TPI that I was told to buy by the guy at Lowe's to make super straight cuts and well, you'll see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and do a review on this. So I'm skipping through the part where we go ahead and unbox it. But I wanted to go ahead and show you that the jigsaw is a freaking awesome tool. But even though this tool is pretty freaking awesome, um, it will cut the board somewhat straight, but not exactly perfect as you can see here on the close-up and due to that I needed extra tools. All right and introducing not only a proper work desk which I am ecstatic and happy about my husband and I were able to go ahead and pick up these two um, horse something rather well, I don't even know what they call them you guys but they're freaking awesome and then just a nice board to lay on top so that I can do my work and another girl tool. I love it. Well, it's a tool and it's not necessarily a girl tool, but I'm a girl with tools. So there you go. Anyway, so it's my very first miter saw. It's the coolest thing on planet earth, you guys. And I am so in love with it. And I have so many projects that I want to do because of it. And I'm also going to skip the opening of this guy because trust me your girl is going to do a review on this um so if you're a girl and you like power tools like me then stay tuned because you're going to get you a nice review coming up in other videos special shout out to my brother who is the one who basically told me how to use this guy, how to set it up. Um, the instructions definitely helped, but that's who was on my phone and my husband was holding it because we were FaceTiming. The funny part of this whole thing, you guys, is he had zero idea what I was doing and it's been killing him <laughs> because um, he's like, what do you need this for? And I'm like, I can't tell you, just show me how to use this damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so shout out to him. But there's another huge shout out that I want to give. Um, but it's going to wait just a little bit just because I want to go in order. Um, but you guys, this is literally like my favorite new thing in the entire world. And to tell you guys that I have a million projects planned in my head is an understatement. So anyway, bro, good looking out. Thanks for being amazing. And uh, yeah, you guys, if you've never had a miter soul tool, <laughs> I see I can't even talk with all the excitement. You guys need one in your life. Trust me, especially if you love DIYing. 
I had so much fun, too much fun cutting up my boards, you guys. And this is my first side that went up. And I did the back side, and now this is the side that I saved to show and share with you guys. But this is where my second shout out comes in. I cannot give enough thanks to my best friend and her husband because they are amazing. Basically, let me tell you what a dork I am. Please keep in mind that once again, this is my very, very first project, major project in my home. Um, but basically what happened was I ordered myself a gun, a uh, nail gun. And uh, you guys don't make fun of me, but I had no idea that you needed an air compressor. Uh, yes, I know in retrospect, duh. But anyway, um, long story short, I waited and waited for the dang thing to come. It finally got here. I was ready to like, I opened up with so much enthusiasm and so much excitement just to be just devastated. Long story short, um, basically I didn't have a, um, um, air compressor. And so basically my husband was like, well, I guess we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way with a nail with, uh, you know, nails and, and a hammer. And that's how I did the first section. And basically, uh, what ended up happening is, um, it just took so freaking long because you still have to level it. You still have to make sure everything is going on right. And, um, my best friend happened to send me a text while I was at work one day and I replied to her on my lunch and I just told her, ah, oh, it's going slowly. I'm like, let me tell you what a big idiot I am. And I basically told her what had happened. And she's like, um, didn't really say anything, which I was just like, whatever, you know? Anyway, and like a few minutes later, she called me and I'm driving to get myself lunch. And she's like, um, I just talked to my husband and he says you can borrow our um, power tools. Come pick them up and finish your project because there is no way you're going to do that all by hand. And honestly, if it wasn't for them, I don't know that I would have been finished with this project as quickly as I was. So big, huge, amazing shout out to the bestie and her hubby because they are so freaking unbelievably awesome for doing that. And to say that I appreciated doesn't even begin to express my gratitude just because good looking out. Um, I have an amazing family and I have an am amazing friends and I am so lucky and blessed in so many different ways. And this went by so, so fast because of it. And, um, that power tool is freaking awesome, but I don't think I'm going to buy one and it's not because I don't love it, but because my dogs are deathly afraid of it. Um, both of my dogs have been acting so freaking weird. Um, and only because of that is the only reason that we tried so, so fast to get this done because these guys were just hating life. Um, but keep a leveler on hand, even though I had already done it with the pencil and I made sure to stay where I needed to stay, it does not hurt to just double check. But you guys, this is an easy process as far as putting it up once you have everything cut. Um, but uh, you know, it takes a lot of patience. Trust me, you guys. Another thing that I neglected to tell you guys, um, is that I've been putting liquid nails. Um, I've watched a million tutorials on how others have done this. And this is something that is always recommended so that your boards don't shift. And when you just use the nails, they can pop up. Um, so this is just a bit of an FYI in case you guys ever decide to do something like that. So this is liquid nails that you see um, that I have basically on there. Um, but as long as you do measurements, um, you can actually make this go so nice and basically make it look so beautiful. Now to cut out the outlet, I did use my jigsaw. So yay for buying that jigsaw after all. <laughs> uh, that's not the only thing I used it for you guys. Um, I did a lot of my trim with the jigsaw. I actually will show you quite a few things here. Um, 
And then if you take a look right now, those floorboards, I've hated them from the moment we got them. And I did new floorboards that my husband picked out and they're beautiful. All right, guys, so now, as you can see, I've added my corners, I've added the little um, edge on the top, and then um, my little border, which hasn't obviously been painted yet, um, but I wanted to show you guys a close-up of what it looks like before we fill the nail holes, um, before paint, before anything. Um, as you can see here, this is what the nail gun looks like, this is what the hole is looking like, a um, couple things that we oops on right there I hadn't originally taken the floorboards out because if I'm being a thousand percent honest I wasn't sure I was going to replace them even though I've always hated them and then here is a little bit of trim that I added to the front obviously before paint sorry about the focusing there um, but I'm just showing you guys that the project takes time takes patience but you guys, it's so freaking worth it when it's all said and done. Like, look at it here. It's already looking beautiful, but it's not perfect. It needs work. Um, and oops has happened. And you just have to forgive yourself and just keep going. Speaking about the floorboards, forgive my disgusting dirty floors, but when you're working, this is what happens. I literally, you guys, not even exaggerating, ask my husband, I think I messed up about six floorboards before I got it perfect. Um, and I'm very happy. I was just showing you guys um, the little corners, how we uh, put them on there. And he picked these out and I'm so, so happy. They're, these are so much nicer than the ones that we had. I am so obsessed with it. And then here I'm going to go ahead and show you a close up of not only the edge, again, the focusing on this camera. I need to play with it a little more and figure that out. Um, but look, I had done... Um, the trim, I keep calling it an edge, the trim, you know what I mean. And then right here, we had that gap so that we could go ahead and fit the corbel. Now, like I said, nothing ever is 1000% perfect because I bought the corbels thinking that they would fit. And then guess what I realized? I didn't take into consideration um, the thickness of the planks. And so the corbels were actually a little too big, but I didn't want them to be any smaller. So I did have to trim a little bit off. And you guys, once it's all said and done, you can't even tell that they were ever trimmed and it looks beautiful. So let me show you what they look like when I bought them before we did any of this. See, perfect fit, huh? <laughs> LOL. Oh my gosh, you guys, the things you learn as you go on. Anyway, you guys, so I just wanted to show you that this little gap here is basically um, where we're going to put the corbel and then we're going to go ahead and fill all these nail holes. Um, you're not even going to be able to tell that any of those nail holes are here. All the little tiny imperfections. Um, you know, this was before we actually got the floorboards on. Um, but again, you guys, just showing you the process um, little by little as I don't want this to be a two hour video. All right, guys, so for this clip, we're gonna go ahead and fill in all of the nail holes um, and all of the little oopses that we have, except for, of course, our little shiplap uh, spaces. Those are intended and absolutely gorgeous, in my opinion, of course. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and um, get everything filled, and then we're gonna add our floorboards. Unfortunately, I won't be sharing the floorboards part until after it's up because I did need my husband's help and I am respecting the fact that he hates being on camera. So anyway, let's go ahead and get everything filled and also apologies for the mess on the countertop. But when you're doing kitchen projects, this is real life people, real life. <laughs> up outside in the rain today not a clue to where or how woke up alone 
He's on and French bread is baked brand new You look like you could use some chow All right, so I've gone ahead and added the plate back. We filled all the holes. We've gone ahead and sanded everything. I went ahead and put down the tape and we're getting ready to go ahead and now paint. I did get the corbels up, as you can see here. That is where I had to trim them. Didn't do a very good job of showing that. Oh, there you go. Again, the mess on the counter, that just does not go away until I clean it up completely. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway you guys look how absolutely beautiful this is looking already and it's not even done you guys I'm obsessed with this project you'll have to really be honest with me and tell me what you think because I am so proud of myself and I just can't stop these floorboards shut up I'm going to show you guys a before and after of the floorboards because that in itself is just unbelievable to me what a difference it makes and I do want to point out that it's the floorboard specific specifically on the island because the ones in my whole house are absolutely modern and beautiful and gorgeous but then again we did upgrade those Alright guys, and this is actually paint that we had um, when we built our home. So it's about two years old, but we wanted it to match the paint. That's why it hasn't been mixed and it's been sitting in my basement for a couple of years now. Uh, but we knew that it was going to be a perfect match to everything that we had going on in the kitchen. And that's the reason why we decided to go with it. And I had it, so why not? Um, why buy stuff when you can just reuse it? So this is just a plastic bowl. And I'm going to be using a paintbrush to basically apply it. And then I'm also going to be using a mini roller um, to kind of go over it. And then a tiny little brush so that we can do all the small little areas. So let's get to painting because this is one of our last steps uh, before we can get this project all completed. What on Totally out of the subject, but um, my husband bought me these AirPod Pros for Mother's Day. Yeah, it was Mother's Day, and they fall off of me. I must have special ears, so I bought myself these cool hoops um, that go <laughs> over the ear, so I wanted to bring that up in case you guys were like, what is on her ears? Anyway, these are from Amazon, so if you guys have AirPods, um, or AirPod Pros or whatever. Um, I recommend these so, so much because now I can walk my dogs. I can do activities like this um, or whatever and not have to worry about them falling out. So I highly, highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, so I can't be loud and listen to music loud because as I've mentioned to you guys, since COVID started, my husband has been working from home. And so your girl has to jam out. You can't have silence when you're trying to focus and do stuff like this. <laughs> and so I've got my jams going 
and I'm getting my paint on and I wait about an hour in between. I got dinner done this night. Um, I, uh, then I basically got back to painting and then um, I, in, I finished up the next morning by adding the hardware, getting everything cleaned up and um, decorating, which of course is my absolute favorite. So we're reaching the end and I'm so, so, so excited for you guys to see. But I am just so unbelievably happy with how this turned out. I'm so unbelievably proud of myself and I know I keep saying that, but you guys have no idea how much this little project took out of me um you know i absolutely hate my house being a disaster but it's reality when you're doing projects it is what it is uh, but anyway i really hope you guys are enjoying these type of renovation type videos um please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because your girl has another project up her sleeve um yes i know i told you guys that miter saw was the start of a whole lot of stuff for me you guys <laughs> my husband's like great <laughs> So stay tuned because your girl has some fun stuff in, you know, in mind. So I've already bought my supplies for my upcoming projects. So I'm going to be working on it here in Utah. We have what's called Pioneer Day um, and that is next weekend. So I have a three day weekend and your girl is going to be busy, busy, busy. So uh, I'm really, really excited and looking forward to getting this other project started and finished. Um, I'm hoping it's a lot quicker than this one, but we shall see because, you know, projects don't always go the way you want them to, but it's okay. As long as you breathe and realize that it's not going anywhere, um, it'll stay there and it'll be there. Um, so just be grateful and happy. Um, I'm not going to show you me painting the two um basically coats because that would just bore you to death i'm just going to show you how i did this one section and then i'm going to paint the rest off camera but basically i added it with a brush and then i went through it with a roller and anytime the excess paint got into any of the grooves i would take my needle point um pliers i think is what they're called and then i would just um take the uh, excess paint off like i'm showing you here um, so if any of you work with shiplap that's one thing i recommend the whole point of shiplap is so that you can see those grooves so try not to get paint in between them because the whole purpose is for that to show up One on earth do we do now? One Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they enlighten my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me?
All right, guys, I am beyond excited to share that all the painting is done, all the caulking is done, everything is back on, and the last little bit left to do is now to go ahead and add my hardware. You guys were probably like, what is she talking about, hardware? Um, and by hardware, I'm referring to this beautiful towel bar that I purchased. And in addition to this towel bar, I am going to be decorating it um, to add that farmhouse like spectacular just little bit of touch uh, forgive my dogs in the background they love barking when mom's recording but anyway you guys i'm just adding this last little bit and then we're going to get it all cleaned up decorated and i just can't stop smiling because i'm so obsessed with how beautiful this turned out Baby, I'm stuck with a halfway heart. Slip away. Here's the one I bought you guys. So, you know, pause the video, take a screenshot. Highly recommend it because it is a maze. I love it so, so much. If I come too far, pick me up with Tell me why I hadn't even finished cleaning, but I had to put some stuff on here. <laughs> Um, decorating is my absolute favorite. You guys know I am obsessed with it, but you guys, it is just, it just makes me so happy. You don't even know. I mean, this stupid little bar makes this shiplap pop and it's just so gorgeous and I'm just ecstatic and I just I can't even stop smiling when I look at it just because it's perfection to me but anyway as I mess with this just a little bit and then we'll get to the counter nice and clean um, then we'll go ahead and show you the end results but don't forget you guys please share my content with anyone you think that might like it because it helps out my channel so so much and please don't forget to give me that thumbs up so that other people can check out my content as well so thank you so so much and uh I'm so proud. I know I keep saying that and I'm smiling like a big old dork, but I'm just so happy with the way that this turned out. And I really truly hope you guys enjoyed as much as I do. Um, but yeah, I mean, you probably won't enjoy it as much as I do, but I hope you like the video um, and like what I've done because man, it, wow, it took a lot out of me, but in a good way too like it's just fun anyway uh, I'll, I'll shut up now All right, guys, so here's another part of the video to go ahead and pause. This is where I got my customized kitchen towel that I'm obsessed with.
Alright guys, and I wanted to change up my little center um, piece here in the island and I wanted to do a pop of lemons, um, lemon and summer lemonades. I mean, just so perfect. Um, I'm going to be doing a whole decorate with me of the coffee bar where I'm turning it all lemon 80. <laughs> you guys will have to stay tuned to see that. Um, and this is just the first part of my little lemon um, decor that you guys get a little bit of a feel for. And I absolutely love it. If you guys don't know already, yellow is one of my favorite colors. But here is the grand finale, you guys. I couldn't be happier. I really could not. I absolutely love this. And I hope you do as well. I mean, I haven't put out very many long videos at all, especially 30 minute videos, um, just because I try to be conscientious of everyone's time. But I could not cut off any more than I had already done in this video and I'm just so extremely happy. I'm so extremely proud and I truly, truly hope with all of my heart that you guys love this as much as I do. And I want to thank you so much for all of your love and support. I want to thank um, my new winner, Africa, for the 2000K subscriber giveaway. I hope she buys herself some fun goodies and I hope she's doing good after her surgery. Um, and I hope you guys l enjoy my videos. Um, you know, 2000 subscribers has meant the absolute world to me and I cannot thank you guys enough. I really cannot. I am so excited with the growth that we're seeing on my channel and the growth that we're going to continue to see because your girl is not giving up. <laughs> I'm going to keep going and we're going strong and I'm so happy and so proud. And I want to just take this opportunity to say that dreams do come true, whether it's building your home, which was a dream for many, many years for me that I honestly didn't think was achievable until it happened. And now these projects that I never thought I would be able to do by myself. I'm just a girl with all of these dreams. And guess what? This girl did it. So if I can do it, so can you take pride in your work and know that anything is possible and girl power. <laughs> I know I'm a total dork, you guys, but you already knew that. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I want to wish you a beautiful and blessed day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. Words that you say, but I can't be strong. If you can move on. Don't you